Good evening, Teach Meet Woodham. My name is Mark Anderson, and you can find me on Twitter as at ICT Evangelist. John Tate has asked me to go through with you some Web 2 tools that can help support learning in the classroom. And to that end, here we go. So this one, small.com, enables you to create really good looking flyers to demonstrate learning. But if you want another way to do that, try goanimate.com. On here, you can make really cool videos, animated videos that can demonstrate learning. Or alternatively, try Pixton.com. Here, on Pixton.com, you can create comics, again, which can demonstrate learning. Sometimes you might want to edit a picture, though, and PicMonkey.com is really good for that. Not only can you fix photos, but you can annotate them, too. Croak.it, really good for recording 30-second chunks of audio. Hit the frog, and then save the URL, pass it on to your students, and they can get that audio. SoundCloud works in a similar way, but you can have longer, but students, or yourself, can also comment on the audio along the timeline. Checkthis.com is really good for making web pages, and there are really good tools that you can use within there, such as adding polls for students to answer questions on. Evernote is a really powerful note-taking tool, which is good for you as a teacher for sharing things with your students, but if your students use it too, you can get them to share their notebooks with you as well. Screener.com enables you to create screencasts, such as the one that I'm doing here, and you can share those with students very easily. And finally, Triptico is a selection of tools which you can download onto your desktop to help you, particularly if you've got an interactive whiteboard with scoring things and uh, random name generators and class timers and all sorts in there. Really cool. If you'd like to find out more, please visit my blog, ictevangelist.com, I hope you have a lovely rest of the evening. My name is Mark Anderson. Thank you very much.